hello everyone i hope you are doing good and welcome back to my channel so today i will show you my sql joins so you can see there is six type of joins so today i'll be focusing on inner join other rest i'll be explaining you in upcoming videos so let's get started with today's video of inner join so I have created one database with db join tutorial name and inside that I have created two tables one is for employee and other one is for their addresses. So inside employee table you can see I have just two columns one is id and other one is name and there are three entries in that. Let me show you address. So in address you can see I have three column id employee id and address. So you can see John is having address Gurgaon and every employee is having one address. So what basically inner join does is it will return all uh, rows from multiple table where join condition is satisfied. You can see the image as well. It shows the intersection of you know matching records between two tables. It will only return that data set. Now I'm going to show you query. So go to SQL and write select star from employee. I'm going to keep employee as left table and right table is going to be address. So write inner join address and own condition I'm going to write is employee ID. So we are putting our condition on employee ID because it is present in both the tables. So write employee dot ID equals to address dot employee ID. Now execute the query and you can see there are three results that are there. Now you can see every employee is having its address. So there is a match in both the tables. So that's why it's giving three output and it's giving all the columns as I have written select star. So that's why it's giving all the columns from both the table. So now let me delete one entry from address. Let's say West Bengal for employee three and employee 3 is rock so now let's again execute the query now you can see only we are getting two entry now because employee 3 is not having its address and only matching records will be written so that's why two entries are there now let me add another address for let's say employee 2 and add let's say delhi to it now employee 2 is having two address bangalore and delhi so now if I'll execute this query, let's see what result we will be getting. Now execute this query again and now you can see we are having three results. But now here employee 2 is having two rows, one for Bangalore and second one is for Delhi. So you should go for inner join when you want matching records from both the tables. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video of inner join. I'll be explaining other five types of join in upcoming videos. So stay tuned and please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.